open so you yeah. can cut between them. But sometimes you might have the full image, but you might just want this little bit here to zoom in for yeah, attention. Yeah. So it's recording now. So you're familiar with this initial screen, right? Yes. So you can. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I had a few other different ideas. So I've got yeah. like you can split it by uh, different projects. Okay. And then it in project you've got this initial screen. Yes. And effectively you you, you normally start with a new project. Yes. Let's call it test this video. So obviously, I think I'm not sure if I because I've been using this for a while. So yeah. I'm not sure if that's the normal startup screen that you go into and how it looks we, because you can adjust slight, that. So we've got a slightly different one, but different yeah. One. So mm -hmm. those tabs. Let's go. Over what this. I normally do to import the videos, so I go into file. Yeah, and, and this is this is this is. The, the, there are some pros and cons of the way I do it. So yeah. how I do it, yeah. I normally uh, organize my footage in folders in Windows. Yeah, so you can just drop them in. Yeah, so you yeah, just give them a date and a quick yeah, name yeah. of what it is. Yeah, yeah. So let, we're going to use, let's use this because there's a few clips from yeah. from here. And what I do, because you can just, not, you can just, I normally go through it first, yeah. give it a name, yeah. so I know what, what that uh, clip is for. Yeah. And then... I'll I'll just drag it in. Okay, in straight here. in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Th there are some pros and cons of doing that. Wha yeah. One I found uh, recently. This is actually just audio. No, let's do this one. Yeah. So this got this got you know uh, yeah. audio and sound. Yeah. So there's those things called power bins, which they are actually quite useful. So. I'll just touch on them quickly yeah. because mm. you might not need them from the start. But but basically, what you can do, common things that you reuse, mm. it's like a shortcut effectively. Yeah. So yeah. you can basically go and drop this, drag this here. Okay. And mm. it's gonna be like your shortcut. So whenever you open DaVinci and you go in here, you're gonna yeah. have a list of things here. Yeah. So you can have clips, yeah. you can have effects, you can have text yeah. that you've predefined for example i've got text which like so write on text or oh, look at this so when it's going to oh, play it, a full 170 you know, millimeters right drop so this okay. is for, yeah and the good thing is by using this template you always have the same intro yeah. you have the same font and everything that's it. is consistent that's it. yeah you've got you've got and you've got the same zoom <coughs> same uh, font size yeah like you <coughs> said so those i suggest um you you start using those straight away because yeah. it's quite useful so well yeah. mm -hmm. first of all just do a clip and then you're gonna have some text you're gonna have an intro you're yeah. gonna have maybe some effects on it so yeah. you can basically create a like i called it standard so yeah. I, you know i use this for everything yeah so for example i use some uh color adjustment basic yeah. color adjustment yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, just to give it just to, just to tell just to show you how it looks oh yeah mm -hmm. so when you're doing some color adjustment, yeah. the best way to do it is to use something which is called adjustment clip. Yeah. And adjustment clips is in effects. Yeah. And effect. So adjustment clip mm -hmm. is a is a thing that you apply anything you can think of to that clip Make without it applying it directly to okay. the clip. Because the okay. idea is you can just you know you, you have a clip, you apply this effect to this clip, but if I move this, you, you can see yeah, ah. so, mm -hmm. so this is the advantage. What you're doing is like almost like a duplicate mirror clip that merges into the other one. It's it's like no, it's like a layer on top. Oh, layers. Okay. So the advantage of that is, you know, I can again I can set up the standard uh, color adjustments. So yeah. what I do, I just change the contrast a little bit. Some yeah. sometimes mm -hmm. temperature, so it's warmer yeah. or, or yeah. colder, yeah. Depend, yeah. depending what you're going for. Highlights, shadows, that kind of basic stuff. Mm -hmm. Nothing fancy at all. And, and that's going to apply to every single photo. And so ba basically yeah. what uh, DaVinci does, it applies mm -hmm. everything top down. Yeah. So it will take, so for example, if I put, uh, if I if go back to media pool and those, so if I put a text on here. Yeah. So this adjustment clip only applies to the stuff below. Uh -huh. But if I put it above it, uh, you can see it because it's obviously yeah, white, but yeah. it also applies to the text. Okay. So. So really, you want the text above it because you don't yeah. want the shot. Well, it, it depends. Sometimes you want some, uh, uh, you know, you want to apply some uh, effects to the text. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, it's got uh, like a yellowy, yeah. yellowy look. Yeah. Uh, 
it'd probably be better just to see it here. Like this. 170 millimeter drop. You see, it's it's, it's changed. It's white. Millimeter uh, now drop. it's because it. Mm -hmm. But the you know color adjustment doesn't really apply to text, yeah. so you have to be careful. Just have, just just the simple way to remember it. When you use adjustment layer, it applies to everything below it. Do you remember so where to get your adjustment layer from? You, you we're recording, so you, you yeah, will have it. So it's yeah, yeah. it's you go to effects, effects, effects. and then you've got this yeah. toolbox, yeah. and it's a mm -hmm. very first thing at the very top. Yeah. You can also do search in here, so you can search for so adjustment. That, that adjustment clip you can use for color grading and everything. You can use for yeah, you can use for zooming, you can use for text size. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do that's for cropping. Do. And everything. The, the, yeah. There are some advantages and disadvantages. I, I won't. You will find out yourself. It's probably the best way to do it because yeah. I can, as you can see, look. I can let's apply this, and I can, I can also play with this. Yeah. You see, you know, uh, apply yeah, zoom, etc. Really so yeah, yeah. that's what you've been asking for. Yeah, yeah. that's what you had the problem with. But that it's obviously zoom and stuff. Yeah. It depends mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes you might want to do it on the clip itself. Right. Because mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Yeah. You you're looking into this transform that video clip yeah. uh, tab on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to crop in on that number five, how would you do that? Yeah, so everything that applies to a clip, yeah. obviously if, you, if, you, if you're working on a clip, yeah. you can either work on adjustment, let's leave the adjustment for a long, yeah, okay. long for a while, yeah. so you have to be in the clip, so you, yeah. you click on the clip yeah. and then it's the inspector which yeah. has all the options yeah. in it, right? Oh look, you've got cropping there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so cropping... I think there is a way which I which I don't which I don't do it. I think there's a way to do it through here. Yeah, ah, there, there is. Okay. So you, you can you can do this effectively. Oh, but good. funny enough, I, I just never I don't know why he's doing this. Uh, that might be a reason. Yeah. So it's this is a bit weird as yeah, you can see the way the way it works. Yeah. It's yeah. So you have to you know, like center it. Ah, okay. Okay. So you you can do that, yeah. but you can also do. Um, so let's let's bin this off. We're using Control and Z on that. Yeah, yeah. So it's a standard, you know, undo. But you can also use this, which this gives you a little bit more control. Oh, that's better. I prefer mm -hmm. that. Yeah. There you go. But this is actually not what we want. Hang on. Let's just put that clip again because it's it's not doing what I would suggest, expect it to do. I don't know how to disable that now. <laughs> uh, this is this is it. There you go. Hang on. So oh, yeah, that's it. That, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's all. Because that that's 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 how I used to do it. So yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's, There you go. That's, yeah, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and then you can just zoom in. Does it have? Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah, does yeah. it have? What does it we normally use? Is it oh. sixteen to nine format? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. That that's another thing. When you start your project, yeah, start with dropping because sometimes you will have you know tr again try to record in the same frame rate yeah. or if or multiplies of time frame rate. So if you record, I record everything in uh, thir uh, thirty fps. Yes. If I want Is something to slow, yeah. So obviously clip clip frame rate is a clip frame rate. So it, you have to set your devices to record in the same mm -hmm. yes same yeah. frame rate, mm -hmm. ideally. Well, the, the idea is it needs to it, the the best way to do it because if you for example mix twenty four and thirty four and thirty mm -hmm. it looks weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you want to have a slow mo, I record in you know clipping sixty and then yeah. slow it by fifty yeah. percent. Yes. So this it gives you I'll, I'll show you it gives you that film look yeah. where yeah. where you feel like walking through a grass or something. It, yeah. it, that fifty percent slowdown mm -hmm. basically renders this into thirty fps. Mm. Yeah. So you don't have choppy. Uh, okay. uh, choppy uh, choppy clips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what you do when you drop the first clip? So like we drop this clip yeah. in, it will set your timeline. Actually, it doesn't. Twenty four frames a second there. Yeah. yeah. So let's pin this off because it's not. The, the, this is the problem. If yeah. you drop something in, and it's set that you can't change the frame, uh, yeah, time you frame. You can uh, change this later. Into the, but yeah. the, the one one trick to do it is if you if you've got lots of stuff in here and yeah. you don't want to bin it. Basically, what you do, you go and you do a new timeline. Yeah. And then you just untick use project settings. Yeah. And in format, you can change the FPS. That's good. Mm -hmm. I watched the guy on YouTube, he says that once you set it, you can't change this later. You can. Mm. 
But you would have to remove all of the clips. Oh, you have okay. to do a second timeline. Yeah. So okay. uh, you okay. can basically go copy a Labyrinth, Control A, Control mm -hmm. C. Yeah. Go mm -hmm. to timeline two. That's good. Paste that in. You still got the same timeline, and mm -hmm. then they, you know, have no. Oh, yeah. this is this is another issue. It's actually showing you the uh, the um, timeline of the. This is the the video yeah. timeline. Yeah. Not timeline two, which is which is a bit weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna it, it's not gonna reflect this, but the timeline is actually in the thirty FPS. Okay. But again, this is this is minor. But just remember. How did you zoom out on the timeline to make it smaller? Was it just control and minus? He, here. Yeah. Yeah. So you. Uh, so yeah. So I've got uh, shortcuts which I can export and yeah. and give those to because yeah. I don't know what the defaults are. So those shortcuts are from Adobe. So I use A. An S, yeah. so effectively, you know, zooming into yeah, a yeah. where where the uh, where where the slider is. Oh, you yeah. this plus and minus there. Yeah, you can do this. Where's the plus and minus? Uh, yeah, you can do it here, but do this here. is the, you. You don't want to be using this for. Mm -hmm. you, you, uh, trust me, it's going to be very annoying. You yeah. have to have. I let me just. Um, but this, yeah, the. the so I I use very very little uh, number of of shortcuts. So those two are very important. Yeah. Because they, mm -hmm. you know, you sometimes you need you know a few few frames to move. So mo you're moving frames with with your normal cursors. That's the start standard. Yeah. Uh, so let's say, you know, I'm start I'm starting to now talk about something here. Yeah. So this is another very useful. Sh there are two shortcuts in terms of doing cuts very quickly to help you with editing. Mm -hmm. So effectively, Q in my option in I don't know what it's technically called. We can look at it in the shortcut editor. But it effectively removes the beginning, yeah. so it cuts from the slider forward. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. the clip will start from here. Good. And W does the opposite; it removes yeah. everything after the. Aha. So, for example, you know, let's say I wanted to start from here, so I remove this bit. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know I'm talking about something, and I want to finish it here. Yeah. All I do is I press W. And it gets rid wow, of everything okay. else okay. after. That's much quicker. So that's yeah. that yeah, saves normally, a ton of time. Normally, mm -hmm. normally you, you click the thing and then you have to press yeah. delete and everything. This is much quicker. Yeah. So this saves uh, heaps and heaps of time. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go somewhere else. Let's go. That's going to be mix and match. That's all the. Uh, So obviously those you know you've got your video and your audio clip. So when you drag when you drag your first clip, you only have one video, but you can add you know mm -hmm. as much as you want. So for example, what I you will have you probably have this as well. So I record audio separately. Yeah. Uh, so I I then need to uh, sync the audio with the clip. Yeah. So this is not going to sync, but because oh let's just actually let's just find the clip that's going to sync. This took me a while to find as well, but this is very simple. So main work because you can separate your sound file from your video clip, can't you? There's an attachment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attach you link. you you effectively yeah, you click link clips. Yeah, and then you can disassociate them, and you can then just remove the the audio. Mm -hmm. But we we want to keep it for now. <coughs> uh, I haven't I haven't named them very cleverly. It's less complicated now. It's uh, easy oh. if you've come from a background of doing Adobe and proper film editing, but for me, it's still more complicated than what I'm so, used to. So this is the clip, and this is the all I think the audio for this clip. So effectively, if you want to sync it, all you do you just select them all. Yeah. And then you right click and you go to uh, allow audio uh, auto align clips yeah. based on waveform. Yeah. And the basically what is what it will do. It will try and sync it he for hasn't, you. Yeah, he hasn't found the. Let me just find the clip that will sync. Because this is a bit of a mess. This recording. Um, yeah, this is better. So what you literally just speak into your microphone then just to do overlay or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, in this instance, I was recording on the iPhone, but the the problem is I bought a microphone 
not for lightning switch but uh, for USB C mm, yeah. so I recorded audio on the other phone yeah. and then I linked them together. Because mm. we got the uh, Zoom H one. Oh know, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. But that's really, really good. But it's gonna be the it's gonna be the same principle. Yeah. So you start recording, you start uh, you start the audio. Yeah. Um so I've got the intro as the intro clip. So the importance of naming your files properly. Yes. So that's you, you know this itself. is the problem because I you know I've already done this. When I'm doing it, I remember it. But now looking at it, it just doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. no, but I think that's the key, isn't it? When you're filming loads, when you download everything to your hard drive, yeah. you need to name the yeah. footage that you want to mm -hmm. keep. Otherwise, you, you, yeah. Where's the use GoPro at all yeah 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 so if I if I go riding I've got GoPro clips as well but it's the it's the it's the same oh, so is this so there's no issues with using GoPro in here no no it's the same you just record copy it to your hard drive and then um, the problem we, we've got is we've got like the um, the hero 3 plus and the hero 4 but they stopped doing the studio and the software to support it yeah, you don't need the software. So you can just literally download all straight you, from your all camera. All you do, you just you just plug it into your USB C and just copy the clips. Okay. Yeah, you, you start don't. using the no, GoPro. Go. Do we need to? Yeah. No, when it's really heavy rain or whatever, you can mm -hmm. just stick it on your cap and film. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if you film for twenty minutes, you can just take the clips out that you want. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So this is this is this should sync because this is the audio clip from mm -hmm. this. Yeah. So you see, we'll just line them up. Yeah. And then. You know, well, it's the same sound file, yeah. Yeah. So I've started yeah. here. Yeah. And again, same principle. So this key. Yeah. W you know, w to remove everything, it it applies in a different way. If yeah. you have nothing selected, it yeah. will line. It will remove all of it. Yeah. And it will line them up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you have only this selected, you'll yeah. only do it for this one. So okay. this will be now out of sync. So yeah. pay attention. So if you want to do it on everything, mm -hmm. just click away so nothing selected and then press how, Q. How do you mute your second channel down underneath? The so there's various ways. You can either unlink them and just delete it yeah. and then move that b below this or uh -huh. you can just mute it here. That's good. So I normally, that's what I do now. So my first audio track is just yeah. mute. Yeah. Uh, but then it would mute the other one as well for a drop now. Yeah, so, the whole channel. so again, so the, the one way to do it is to say... Uh, I'd probably unlink Call it, it and then you know it. speech yeah. mute or whatever. Yeah. Uh, probably best to delete it, but yeah. uh, you know, uh, and then you know call this actual speech or whatever, yeah, 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 and yeah, then yeah. you have you can have another one, you know, and then obviously when you record with those, yeah. that's mm -hmm. another you have to change that to be mono ah. because otherwise you just hear it from left ah. or right only. Ah. So. You just just do changed uh, track up to you know my stereo. Own stereo. So no, so for yeah. for the this is the the microphone. So you yeah. want this in one mono. Yeah. one point mono, mm -hmm. and then your GoPro and your you know phone whatever you want it in stereo. Yeah. Okay. So so Q and W for for quick editing in terms of doing cuts. So yeah. for example, let's say you know. I'm talking here, I'm speaking, and then there's a big gap here because I've made a mess or, or that I want, I don't want this. Yeah. Same principle. To do an actual cut, yeah. it's E in my, in my, you see they are all yeah, yeah. in line. So what that does, it gives you a cut. So it's the same as using this razor here. And again, so to make it shorter, you know, not, nothing yeah. is happening here, so what I want to do Cut. Let's say I want to do a cut here. So again, I can do another cut. Yeah. I can then select those and press delete. That's yeah, probably what we'll do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But look, so look how much quicker this, this yeah, is. Yeah, I'm just quicker. I'm just doing E yeah. and then going here mm -hmm. and pressing Q and it's wow. all done. Wow. So it saves you. It saves you hours and hours. When, when, you know, because yeah. you you're gonna do like thousands cuts in yeah. in a video of oh, a few yeah. minutes. Especially yeah. when we're gonna film like big episode where is. Loads of cameras. And Jesus, it's, it's, 70 clips or 80, yeah, yeah. that's all come, I think. There's a lot of work cutting and editing, yeah? So, be happy. so yeah. uh, for so example... You know, you know those spaces you've got in between there? Yeah. 
when you cut it, it automatically aligns everything. So the video and everything will... As long as in this instance, you either select everything or you don't select anything yeah. because otherwise you'll get out of sync. You, there, is a way, uh, there is a way to link them again. Mm -hmm. I think you just link them yeah. like that and go. Yeah, so you yeah, see, yeah, and they, yeah, they, yeah. when you move them, that's probably... I, I never do that, so you see, I learn every day. Yeah. You can, you can, that's probably a lot better to do it that way because if, but it, the good thing about this is if you, there is a way, if you, I think if there, there is a way, how do you move that separately? If you, if they go out of sync, mm -hmm. there is like a red icon appearing, tells okay. you plus 0.1 or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can then tell the audio is out of sync. Okay. I, I don't know how to force it now, but sometimes you, when you move stuff, you, yeah. you will mm -hmm. see it. But they have to be linked. So if yeah. they are if they are linked, and then you manage to move one out of sync, I think if you do a cut, it will do it. So if I no, doesn't matter. But you will you will you will see what I'm talking about. Um, so let's say I w what I want to do, because if I just do this, there you, go. you know, if you number of different the, cut, the Shram know, Eagle jumps, family. Right? Mm -hmm. So, well, first of all, so I want to be in the middle, right? So, uh, you know, Going just move. That, uh, you have to do some zooming because obviously that's, that, that's, 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 that's another key. Top, when, yeah? Think about your clip when you're filming it. Yeah. So if I, if I feel myself, you know, like, 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 like this, yeah. and let, let's say like this, yeah. there's very little I can do. Right. Imagine Always I film a bit further out so yeah. that I can yeah. zoom in. Yeah, yeah. because if, if, I, yeah, if I'm like here then, yeah. If I film it like this, you mm -hmm. can't do anything. Yeah. Nothing. You, so you it's, better it's to film a little bit further away so yeah. you can zoom You've in. You've got options. Yeah. you got more options to manipulate them. Yeah, but yeah, and now obviously, you know, uh, just make sure... This is on your iPhone, yeah? Yeah, this is just an iPhone. It's good in the day. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's very yeah. brilliant. But at night, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. You need... Even I think if you go lamps, what you've got all this lamps. No, at, at night, no, none of the phones. You need a big sensor. Yeah, you need yeah. a bigger sensor. For That's this, why for the, our game, we need this camera. But that one we were looking at has got a one inch sensor. This Sony is that's ZV1. One. One. Yeah, that's 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 this, plenty enough. This is the yeah. best pick for us if I you want so. to so. go through the bushes somewhere. So so in know. terms of here, yeah, uh, this is probably just the important bit that you know you want to fit your ah uh, fit the screen. Yeah, so you can see the whole frame. Mm -hmm. So now I'm in the middle. Uh, yeah. Has a number of different. The shram. Yeah, and obviously you know the scene. Well, the number of different. Of cut, of the cut. The shram. So this yeah. is now you know it, a a it jumps. Yeah. B I'm not in the middle. So yeah. what you want to do? You want to look. So I've got one point two three in terms of zoom. Yeah. So here I can then zoom a little bit more or a little bit less. Depends yeah. what you want to do. Yeah. And then you know, make sure I'm in the center still. And if you family, there's a number of different trans transist. The Shram Eagle I mean, family. You have to get yeah. it right. There's a number of different. If you do a, you know, if you're in the middle, the and you, you do a proper zoom and you make sure that it's aligned. That's that's another useful thing. So, in terms of, first of all, let's let's pin all of this. So before you start messing with, make sure that you know, you set up the whole clip. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got the whole clip, so uh, let's zoom a little bit so to make sure that I'm in the center. Right, that's maybe a bit that's important. Maybe, maybe a bit more. that because the zoom, the zoom is better than cropping because you've got yeah, a little yeah. bit more control. Yeah, yeah. so let's uh, this is our you know static position. Yeah. Can you do zooming on, on the key keyboard? Uh, I'm not ready. I think you you can if you set it up. Oh, you just I think yeah, but for, for I, like I think this is and then you could. Yeah. But then what you're gonna find is you're gonna forget all of your. So I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's again. It's, it's, I think it's very personal, but mm -hmm. uh, you you will have to find what works for you. So mm -hmm. some of the things you don't you want. More control down there than than on the key. Yeah, well, oh, no. you, you you could you could probably set the, how for how much the scale actually moves when you press the key, mm -hmm. but it's I think it's, this is actually easier with the mouse, easier. but yeah, it's yeah. it's a matter of preference. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's try and do that. So we cut here and then we remove yeah. to here. Maybe as a number of different. The shram. Personalize his keyboard completely to the system. Number of different. The shram eagle. Not that simple, really. <laughs> yeah. 
No, normally the best way to do it is so the you know if you're doing it like this, you you want to do all your all your all of your cuts, all of your cuts. Let's say I want to get to, to here. I'll just demonstrate what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So here. All right. So we've got you know a sentence. The Shram Eagle family has a number of different. The Shram. And what you're trying to do is to make sure that those transitions the number of are different. a bit nicer. The mm -hmm. So in here. The transition. When I say when when you come from one clip yeah. to another, because obviously there's cut between yeah. there, you know you can see that the I'm not, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you you can do a, a little bit of a zoom and it does. Can look... you can you overlay the other one on the other one so you can have a ghost over you to make sure that you're the same size. You know sometimes when you have layers and you merge, you've got like the the yeah. So you got one behind. I it, so to... think I think you can. Uh, but I, I don't know how to do it. Yeah. I, I think you can. A number of different. It's normally massive. The shrimp. What, what do you want? Layers, what, I don't think you need that. So as long as you, you know, when you do it and you do a little bit the of shrimp zoom, eagle that family. actually look, does look better. Yeah, and yeah. The, another thing, when you're actually watching it, because we don't have audio, because I don't have speakers. Yeah. Uh, you, you can do uh, like audio cuts. I, I don't know if you want to do it in the... So for example... <laughs> when you're speaking, that's probably not a good idea. Mm. But in terms of transitioning... Uh, between clips, so let's yeah. see. We, we, you know, we've done all of this, and then, you know, I'm talking about this derailleur here. Yeah. But when you look closely so, at the difference between the, the high end X01 and the end and X, this is not the, the main difference, difference. Let's say. So, you know, okay. I'm, I'm speaking look closely yeah, at the difference about this, and I want, you know, I don't want audio from this being it. Are you gonna just have it pop in as a little X1. square or something? No, this looks pants. Don't okay. do that. Yeah. But when so you look I'm closely at the right difference there. between yeah. the high end yeah, X01 and, and the low one, an X. That's good. So it's this is as simple as that. So that that would be where you're again, talking about your the, bolt rigs and whatever. You can yeah. just have the picture. So it's the same principle with this as with this adjustment clip that we've yeah, covered. Right? Okay. Whatever is at the top, yeah. it's gonna get displayed. So you could, like you said, you could crop it. Mm -hmm. So you could do this, you know, and that. Yeah, and then just move no, it, but you know, I don't know. It's yeah. It, but they have the that. difference between so the high end X01 and the low end X. Things end like and this, and yeah. for example, let's say I'm talking about this derailleur, and all I want is a, a, a is it? Uh, that's definitely what we need for presentations and our special. I want. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I want an image, right? Uh, <laughs> we cut this out. Yeah. Okay. Are you actually physically done just the outline and just extract? No, it? no. I'll I'll show you in a minute. That's what I said. Yeah. This is this is only five percent of the work that you you normally do. Yeah. So, you look close. Clear the. Uh, one other thing is to reset it back to standard. All yeah. you do, you, you you have you use those. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Mhm. Mm so I'm talking but about. But when you look closely yeah. at the difference between right. the high end oh, yeah. and X01 and the. And then low end you know, you and X. Have a picture there. Mm -hmm. The main difference is primarily the weight. And those is so the process of cutting this, for example, I'll yeah. show you quickly, and it's, it it applies to um, everything I do. I, I think I've sent you some of those links. Mm -hmm. So it, you Google everything effectively. Yeah. So I want from an X. Delayed it to speed, right? Go to images. Mm -hmm. I just grab the image there. <laughs> That's how it's done. Yeah. Yeah. So pay pay, atten simple. pay attention yeah. to the resolution because yeah. you want. It yeah, depends yeah. what you're looking for. Some if you want an icon, you yeah. you you can obviously the the bigger normally is the better, and you just scale it to the size you need, mm -hmm. right? So this is the derivative I'm talking about. So uh, save image as. You know, save it to uh, whatever. You probably got like an editing folder or whatever. Well, it's I, I'll just normally put all the material that I use oh, for the, the particular one. clip in yeah, one yeah, folder. Yeah, but yeah, okay. it's it's again, you'll find your way. Yeah. So a lot of time is going to be spent just naming the clips that you want to save and save the ones that you want. Yeah, organization is is key because you you then you can waste a lot of time and I, uh, you know tools. Yeah. Look, mm -hmm. there's quite a few, yeah. but I've used some of them. Um, regularly so this is the one i use for removing background so it's called adobe 
uh, remove power plant. That one. And it's yeah. yeah, and it's and it's effective for three two years. Yeah. So then we just find. What uh, antivirus do you use then? Uh, have you got like a VPN or something? No, so can't remember what it's called. What is it? Avast. Avast, yeah. yeah. So oh, I've got. I didn't so if you obviously let's just demonstrate. The, the so if you if you didn't do with this, the, oh, that's all you're going to get. Yeah, yeah. Hang on, this one is a. So this is another. So web p files, which yeah. are common for the web, yeah. mm -hmm. they are not supported in DaVinci. Ah. So before you do anything with this, check the what form you have to you know open it in something yeah. and convert it to PNG. Okay. So what's the difference between JPEGs and JPNG? Oh, well, it's it's just a you know this is I think this is a vector file. Yeah. So as you can see, the main uh, difference for us, they are suitable for web because they're small size. Yeah. So you they are two hundred twenty kilobytes. Yeah. yeah. And look if I convert it to PDF. So open it with Paint. Paint will do it. Yeah. And then save us PNG. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So the PNG is bigger. Yeah. But in some instances it will be a lot bigger. Yeah. So let's. But you can you can resize it though. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. So, so now that's the PNG file. You can just drop it here. Uh, oh, let, so let, well, it's very good that it removes the background. Yeah, let's it? just show you how it look. Obviously, it, it it's gonna look pretty poor if you just drop it in here straight away. Obviously, it's gonna, yeah, you no. can you can mess with uh, picture in here and remove background in yeah, here, but yeah. it's it's a far quicker to do it outside. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So you just go in here and then. It sometimes it will ask you to log in after a, after a few times you do it. Yeah. So just use your Google account to log yeah. in, and you yeah. you still don't have to mm -hmm. pay anything. Mm -hmm. And then just download it. That could be handy for us. Yeah. It for no, not for your thumbnails because you could take that and put it on any background. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, so you could cheat really and yeah. have a really nice mad background with <laughs> that superpose your picture. And those gonna grab. It. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. It's, good, you know, yeah. and then you just move it yeah. to where you want it to appear. Mm -hmm. Low end and X. That's good. I like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you could have a picture of a hand just going like loser in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something. Yeah. That's what they do actually yeah, 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 yeah. on, the, on, on these channels. That they looks really good. Got like a weird picture in the background or a lot. I know, I'm, I'm not really paying, but again, you you're going to collect some of those things that you're going to reuse. So, yeah, for example, yeah. we have to do this today yeah. as well. Yeah. You uh, send me all these links, so yeah. that's what we need to do. Mm. Just organize them. Yeah, what we need, install everything. Blah, that's, blah. that's that's good. Yeah, like that one where you're falling in the cow shit. Yeah. Just a big arrow going, watch out for <laughs> yeah, this. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> If you want to rotate, you can do you know uh -huh. you can do That's rotate good. something like, like you know, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It, it, again it's mm -hmm. That's really good. Okay, well, whatever, yeah. Oh so, and X. Yeah. The main That's difference the is one. That's what we need. Yeah, and same thing applies to to those clips. Q and W you can do the same thing, yeah, yeah. and you can give them a simply. You can do a lot of things with this, but yeah. the simple way to sort of get them out of the screen is the mm -hmm. slider at the end. Oh, that's fading, yeah. Yeah. So rather than... The main fades, difference you know, is primarily the web. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can And you could fade in as well. Mm -hmm. Next. Next. The main difference is primarily yeah, the way. Really yeah, yeah. like you can do the same thing obviously with clips, so yeah. fade, fade we, to we black. Use yeah, yeah. we we'll have to use that. the weight. Obviously, uh, uh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. That's fade there out, is, yeah. There is lots of transitions that you can use, I'll show you, but I'm... I stopped Just using them because they, they no, use they don't look good in my opinion. So all of the transitions are in effect in video transitions. Yeah. So if you want to apply them, so dip to color dissolve is effectively that one. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, blur. Sometimes I would use blur. Yeah. So all you do you just drop it between the clips. Yeah. So. But when you look closely. Right. So this is maybe you know. But when but you it's. I prefer where it just fades out, like yeah, you know, just simple. Yeah, 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 simple stuff. That's why I, I don't use that. It's, you know, uh, that. it's just too much, I think. But when yeah, you look close, it just hurts your mm. brain when you watch that. Yeah. But when you look oh, closely like at the, one. Dip, Which one? the dip. that was good. But when you look closely, oh, yeah. So you yeah, know, this is you. You need to play with this. Yeah, yeah. You, same thing with audio. 
-hmm. Sometimes, you know, if the if they if the transitions is uh, this is like a you know from loud to quiet, mm -hmm. you want to do crossfade. Yeah. That, Try some doing. of those options, but obviously we won't hear it. It's, it, it does the same thing. It mutes the. But when you look closely at the Sometimes difference the between, you find that it's really good sound, and then all of a sudden it's really loud. Can you take like that section and just shrink the volume? Yeah, on? yeah. So, um, what you normally they say, watch. I don't do it personally mm. because I don't see a point. Yeah. If you ask professional, they they will tell you you have to do it. You normalize the audio, so yeah. you select all of the clips yeah. and you do normals or the levels yeah. and they will line them up so oh. the, the peaks and troughs mm -hmm. are the so same it it. but uh if if you have an issue where some of your clips are really loud and some of them are really low in volume yeah, 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 yeah. it's it's, it's far up. far far easier to get a clip and do what you said so you can just go and either do this with the slider yeah yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. or you Easy. can just go yeah, with the, yeah. the, on the audio tab yeah the idea of doing normally in Ozula, so if you look at the uh, at the graph, what happens is so it's the the, the variance is yeah, not yeah, as big. So yeah, that's yeah. that's the that's the idea behind it. I I don't I don't see a benefit, and you know with channel of this size and you know as long as the audio is good in terms of quality, yeah, yeah. this is. I mean, we've seen the difference it. with the microphones. You would you would have to try it for yourself if if you think it's worth doing. Because I found it's more hassle than it's worth. Yeah. Um, but if you film it properly and you save loads of time in editing, really, we need to just see what distance we need to be at and key, how loud to be yeah, speaking. Yeah, yeah, it is. And yeah. key is obviously you know keep it steady. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because for example, you know you want you can do. Let's just talk over keyframing. Uh, yeah. So let's this take this clip for example. Go the gears for it. We can, you know. This, in my opinion, looks looks quite good. So you can do keyframing. So those little dots in here yeah. mm -hmm. is is effectively they are used for keyframing. So what what you do? Let's for example, I want to gradually zoom in throughout the clip. Yeah. So I can, you know, it's probably will mean that I'll have to change zoom and the position. And then. In here. Once once you start keyframing, you will see that you know when you're on the frame where you keyframe this, yeah. it, it turns red. Yeah. So you move to the position that you want to zoom to get in into you want to get into this, for example. So it's already adding a keyframe because yeah. you can see it, and then you can move between keyframes while you're pressing this. Yeah. So and then if you play it, the Shram Eagle right, family so has a number of different. Then it stays in that the Shram. So you can you can do that transition as well like this way. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So for example, you can do a number of different. Yeah, that slow zoom where it zooms in on your face. That's yeah. And then you can remove it. Zoom on the fish or yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, we get to use a lot of that when you're out there in nature. Yeah. yeah. And then th this is also very useful. Once you've applied, so, so you want to transition, you want to do the this, Shram right? Eagle and family in. has a number of different. The and Shram the Eagle family. Clip. I don't know. The cat is yeah. is bad, but let's say yeah. this is this was the same clip. You want to just the Shram do Eagle like this, yeah. different in the same. The Shram Eagle fam final position. Yeah. So you can just you just copy this, those ah, values. Okay. So if you do actually, what does it do when you do this? You can do you just do copy. And you can paste attributes, uh -huh. and you can select what you copy. So you can copy zoom, position. Yeah. So it will drop, automatically do it for you. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure what it's actually going to do. Yeah, no, it's copying the same. Ah, so, so that's zoom actually, in again. Yeah. yeah. So that doesn't work for, for us. So, so effectively, the framing is family uh, uh, this transition. So in, as you can see, in each frame. You know the values are different on yeah. those, yeah. so it's it's automatically working out for you the zoom in for each frame. Yes. Between the the you know frame uh, the keyframe number one, yeah. and keyframe number two. Yeah. So this is the way to achieve some of the effects. So let me show you. I've actually been playing uh, with something in Fusion yesterday. So fusion I, again. I've only just just start with this, but I just uh, just to demonstrate. So this, so I did something like this. So uh, yeah. 
that's just my next video I'm going to be doing, so I'm going to be compiling the shoes for, for mountain biking. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Infusion you can animate, so okay. this, is, this is animated Infusion, so you know, you, you turn that icon yeah. mm -hmm. into something like this. That's cool, so you could have this thing for when you're doing your deeper range extender. Mm -hmm. Cheap. Effective, yeah, you know, yeah. won't let yeah. you down. Yeah. Yeah. Doing it yeah. in fusion is a, mm -hmm. is a very long winded piece because if you go to fusion, so this is the fusion top. Uh, wow. So this is, huh? yeah, there's a quite a few bits going on here. And this is after the follow up YouTube tutorial to sort of because I wanted to understand a little bit mm. more of it. Yeah. So there's, there's, there's things going on. I, I won't go into this because yeah. this, this is something if you're going to have to achieve, you know, do a certain effect in here, yeah. it, it's worth doing that. But what you can also do um, might be easier sometimes. You can find a clip on video of let's let's try and do it actually. Animated uh, green tick, something like this. Mm -hmm. There you go. So if you if you download something with the um, with a green screen behind it, yeah, you can. So this is another tool I use. I've sent a link. So you know YouTube downloader. You just download this clip of YouTube. Yeah, save it to your folder. Go back to DaVinci. Uh, we need to be super organized with our folders, the key. Yeah, but uh, this is the key here. Though. Otherwise, it no, can't find it. Like it just, <laughs> well, no, I'm struggling yeah. because I've got so many different files yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. You need to get in the habit as soon as you come home, mm -hmm. whack everything straight onto your hard drive and yeah. sort everything out. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Obviously, this the, this quality of this is poor, so mm -hmm. it's not gonna look great. Sometimes you can you can find stuff that's Something of better. decent quality. Mm -hmm. I would have thought any anything that's free. You know. So and and then what you would have to do again, you can just do the same thing. You would have to remove mm -hmm. this 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 green screen, yeah. and you can do it in here. Uh, you can still edit that here, yeah. Make. So, so this is this is for color grading, but mm -hmm. you can do things like on this clip, you can actually get a. Uh, I can't remember how you do it. It's in here. Something like. Um, I did see that adding adding, adding, adding adding notes and stuff nodes. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how you do it. So I'm not. You know, yeah. th that that's something that you're gonna have to just yeah. YouTube and yeah, and, yeah. and find it. But effectively, what you do, mm -hmm. you can do it in here. That's probably this is. You can on, you can do it in here with a simple clip. Yeah. So if it's you know an icon surrounded with the same color, you can in here say remove that color yeah. and it will remove. You know it will just keep you keep. keep <coughs> for that's you. good. Mm -hmm. So if okay. you want animated stuff, uh, mm -hmm. that's another skill. The from eagle. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it might be just easier to you know do that, uh, yeah. do this because mm -hmm. you can you can you can animate images Next. quite easily. Mm -hmm. Obviously, what I'm going to show you is basic because you can do the same thing. You can zoom them, you can rotate them, so okay. you know you can do. Uh, you can have a keyframe here. The main keyframe. Uh, so here. you could just zoom in or zoom out. That's good. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the so low one and X. You know, the main difference like is this. primarily the. Or yeah. you know you can do this and zoom as well. Yeah. 
Do you want to be really good? Well, instead of an arrow, and next. Like uh, the main difference rod. is primarily the weight. Maybe just turn over, yeah. Yeah, maybe waggle. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, then we can find something. So you can you, you can also you know you you can do this. So when it's appearing, it's getting bigger as well. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, Dicky, well, over night time, what you could do is a close up of the fishing rod, mm -hmm. just with a black background, and I pull on the rod, and the tip starts slamming, and the alarm goes off. And next. The oh, main yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah so, you can so do it something. looks like you've got the bite, yeah. No, one, Simple one, effects and like this, where yeah, it, the main it difference gets bigger. Is, so you know, that's really good. Yeah, there's plenty next. of stuff that you can do with uh, just in here. You don't have to. You don't have to mess with. Aura? No, no. So you, you can. This is like toy, basically. You, you uh, just have to remember where this transform thing is, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's in the inspector. So inspector. the inspector so in, is, the, is the key, I, I didn't get is the key bit. <laughs> in terms of, okay. let's cover text. So text is in titles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you've got text and text plus. So with text plus, you can do a certain effects. So yeah. mm -hmm. if you do text plus. Mm -hmm. uh, Again, it's got lots of different things. So you've got uh, different um, uh, in shading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can have a outline, for example. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You can have shadow. Yeah, yeah, we like them. You can have border. Some people will pop more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we're gonna use. And then on the. You can use this right on so like I demonstrated. Okay. So, mm -hmm. for example, you can. There's lots of things you can do. You can. Uh, you can. And this is all infusion, yeah. No, this is oh, this no. is still in the uh, edit tab. Yeah, yeah, so edit. it's a uh, it's a uh, it's an edit tab. What you yeah. can do, I will show you quickly. Let's just but let's just cut this clip here. For example. But when you look close, something. So in here. If I go to media pool and find this clip, I think it's in here. Transcribe. Mm -hmm. So audio transcription, transcribe. This oh, that's where it actually pool. comes up with all the lettering to say what you're speaking about. Yeah. Which is good. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if it's really windy or whatever, you can have. That was on the bottom side. On the bottom, yeah. Right, you see, it's it's just picked up everything what I've said. Ah. Mm -hmm. And then obviously, for the for the bit of it, I can okay. I can just do, I can just do that, right? And if I want a, a subtitle with what or I'm in saying. In case of drama, if you've got mm. something, you know, extreme double take or something yeah, 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 that you yeah, can yeah, just yeah. better with pops when yeah, yeah. you can and then you can, you can yeah. let's say this is the sentence I'm, I'm speaking in this yeah. uh, mm -hmm. so it will sync it to your again you keyframe the right one yeah and then you say no no it's just, uh, is it just the way yeah it's just this way yeah and yeah. then at the end well you want probably just just before the end you want to have the full sentence and then you, but, you get something like this but when you look closely at the difference the between yeah, the yeah, high yeah, end yeah, x01 like that. mm -hmm. that's uh, all so keyframing yeah yeah so again this, this keyframing on the mm -hmm. text so you drop the text mm -hmm. and you use this write and function mm -hmm. obviously uh, this background is not very good mm -hmm. uh, so let's get rid of that uh, a much better toy than Filmora, yeah, Dickie. Well, like I say, it's proper, this, you know, you could spend six months learning how to use it. Yeah, but if yeah it does take, it, learning curve is, is big, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. So it's mm -hmm. the same, it would, when you have text, it's you, you have to make sure that if you want to move it, it's in settings, because yeah. it's, mm -hmm. you know, in title, you've got all of those different effects. Yeah. You've, you know, you've got the size, How, how did you get rid of that blue background? So, it's settings, uh, no, Take title yeah. and then shading, and yeah. then you've got different effects in yeah, here. Yeah, so yeah. I've just unticked it. Ah, yeah, the so you yeah, have the blue board to get rid of that. So you've got, I don't know what that does. There's lots of lots of other things yeah, that you can yeah, do with yeah. it. I, I don't know what it so does. So if you press play now, it'll be if and then ding 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 ding. Yeah, but when but you look closely at the difference good. between the high like and that. Mm -hmm. if you remember that, you need to keyframe it. Yeah. Again, it's. I think it's still. 
Is it recording? It is recording. Okay. Yeah. So Some you, people you yeah, take me to learn longer than you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Maybe let's just have a look at some of the other tools. Uh, no, no, long tab. This is always recorded, yeah? Focus. Sorry? You're recording all this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. we've got zooming, we've got cropping, we've what got else? color grading, we've got That's sound really clipping, good. we've got this, that, and the other. Just trying to think what else we need, really. Something with the voice? Well, uh, the thing I is, don't do very... So you can... One thing much might, might be useful, for example, um, if you're recording... Um, I don't know, and I don't know, a plane is coming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you want to get rid of that. We've got yeah. plenty of this. I, I don't have a good example of this, but yeah. effectively... How to record, read of the yeah. background noises, noise. what you don't need, really. So if you... Yeah. There's what? something called uh, vo- <coughs> uh, voice isolation or something like that. So yeah. on this uh, Fairlight tab, which is yeah. all to do with the music, yeah. you go into the Fairlight tab. Like if you go into Poaching Corner and just playing... Ah, yes, you can, you can adjust that one. Yeah. The, the okay. easiest way to do it. So you have to uh, pay attention. So... Actual speech is in yeah. audio too, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And in audio too, yeah. uh, I think that this was uh, this was not visible for me. So yeah. if it's not visible yeah. in here, you have to go and do uh, track effects. Yeah. It's because they, I think it comes yeah. as this is standard. So you go yeah. to here, you press track effects, yeah. and on audio too, all you do you just click voice isolation, yeah. and it will get rid of try. That. How well this is going to work? I've not I've not used it because I didn't have to. to try yeah. that. Um, we can actually well you no you are gonna have to play with this yeah. but, mm-hmm. or maybe I'll, let me just quickly try yeah, it yeah. see if I can because I've got a I've got a clip which I I've been recording in the garden. Yeah, like when you're going on the Kutle Brook or Poaching Corner when behind the airport yeah. when these planes start taking mm-hmm. off one by one you don't want to hear this on no. a long clip. Uh, <coughs> is it? Well, you won't if you have your little microphone on. Yeah, if you're filming with your normal camera, it will pick yeah. up the plane. But it if will. you're here, just speaking, it won't pick up the... You won't pick Either up. one. Okay. Doing That's why you have these microphones. When yeah, you're standing yeah, yeah. next to the road and, and you're speaking, activities. Yeah. not hearing the... Whoosh. Still have to continue that route like of recovery combat. where oh, yeah, oh, one, I'm not yeah. really putting any weight. The same will do with the camera. If, yeah. Putting in some cam- I've been doing yeah. a lot. No, but you just sit with my <coughs> microphone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that Zoom H1 is the one, mate. Mm-hmm. You can proper. The discussions in um, taken. I hope you enjoy it soon. So I'll take a look at that first. Thanks, and hopefully I'll see you soon. The cam- the I've got, you thanks, and hope. So thanks, yeah, and yeah, I hopefully you see you in the soon. Thanks, and see. Yeah, let camera. me know what else can I, I used to do. To be fair, it's crash. Say. And first and forward this time, and I hopefully see you in the soon. Okay, let, let's see how this works with this. If you come to it, it would be worth to try before you spend any more. Oh, no, no, I've got the microphone already. I know you've got one, yeah. The second I, I didn't have my armor on, so oh, I need to pay the price. the microphone on the camera and plug this microphone into a spare mobile. Mm-hmm. That would be the one. Mm-hmm. Mind you. So that's really it. Got this oh, Zoom H1. Mm-hmm. Thanks. You've got the microphones and for the microphones the for your iPhone. Mm-hmm. The GoPro we can just film on its own. That's four cameras, Dickie. Thanks. Thanks. Then, then mess allows and I hopefully then, see you in the soon. Unless you're like proper, the, the, the proper. big ones. No, no, we don't need this. Uh, we might have to get an extra battery though. Yeah, yeah. Because those batteries are about 60, 70 quid. Thanks. And, expensive. and I hopefully see you in the soon. Well, the I, I Thanks, okay. and hopefully I'll see you soon. Right, so, yeah, th- this works pretty well if you... Just just listen to this for yeah, a sec. Yeah, yeah. So this is without this voice isolation. Yeah. Thanks. Right. And I hopefully see you in the just soon. Just a bit. I can hear background, yeah. Yeah, you see, you see the background noise. And then let's just put the voice isolation in and listen to that now. Thanks. And I hopefully see you in the soon. Wow. Yeah. But that's listen. what we need. Have a listen. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's the one. Can you hear the background noise there when you speak? Thanks. 
and I hopefully Wait. see you in the soon. Yeah. Mm. So listen to this after you apply. That's very this. important. We need to understand how to do this. This is probably the most Thanks. important thing. And I hopefully <laughs> see you in the soon. <coughs> I've got rid of pretty much everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because in many places we're going, so you've got. And that's <coughs> it. We've you know, that's, a lot behind the. It's a one, 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 one click of that's a button. What, yeah, so yeah, okay, <coughs> you, you've got this recorded, so. Mm -hmm. um, Can you introduce sounds as well? So if you've got your yeah. audio isolation there, but let's just say there's like a storm effect, you have like. Yeah, yeah. With so again, I, I've got a few things that I reuse. So I've got, uh, again, this is probably just organize your yeah. library of yeah. things that yeah. you want to use. Mm -hmm. so I've got some memes i've got some uh, icons i've got some emojis yeah. i've got some sound effects yeah. uh let's say drum roll ah you've got the sensor beep so when you're cursing you're like Fuck this. yeah 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 <laughs> thanks and i hope and again it's just you know mm -hmm. you're gonna you, you Is it the way i would see the sun you put a beep on but don't block it totally like you know that clip where i was drowning in the kayak mm -hmm. So the key is uh, is the music, right? Yeah. So that that's probably something you're going yeah. to use. Yeah. Um, so uh, your royalty free music, yeah. Yeah. So I've I've sent uh, Jakob a link for, mm. from where I, where I download this. Yeah. Music. Are they um, WAV files or MP3s or what are they? I think it depends. It, it doesn't matter. But it's a good that link to this music yeah. frame. It's a lot of choice. There. Is there? I already download some. Yeah. Yeah. So again, it's choice. it's a simple. You just again drag it in like yeah. everything else. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And normally, what's quite useful is with music. At least that that's what I do. You've got this lock. Yeah. So effectively, mm -hmm. if you forget, because if you if you cut in, yeah. you normally don't, you don't want to cut the music. The music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you cut in and the music is not selected, you would just cut your music. Yeah. So lock the music track. Yeah, basically. lock the music track, and then, you know, when you're editing, yeah. as normal, you know, it's gonna leave the music alone. Yeah, so the good, music good, is good, on its own. Sometimes you want to do it with adjustment tracks as well. Yeah. Um, because you know, for example, uh, it depends. Let let's say, I want this clip, and uh, I want this that, clip. The other thing that I was thinking of as well: can you sharpen your image? Yeah, yeah. So, so say for example, that's a bit blurry on your mobile, and you just want to level it up to make it sharper. Oh, if it's wobbly, right? Uh, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. not not for the stabilization, but just to make it a little bit sharper. Stabilization you can do in here yeah. also. You can just use this. So you know when you're sometimes filming and it's a bit mm -hmm. shaky, yeah. stabilization will... It's, you, you will get varying effect with this. Yeah. It, it, if it's a little bit wobbly, then it will do it. But yeah. if it's like, if I were to go on a bike yeah. and take this phone and try to stabilize it, it wouldn't look good. So mm -hmm. you need a gimbal, really. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basic. It does basic uh, yeah. stabilization. I'm just thinking for the fo video footage that so we have. It's, sometimes it's, if you, it's a if bit you know, if you, you, if you go yeah. there and then yeah. you, you know, yeah, yeah, do yeah, this, yeah. it will yeah. get rid of it. But okay. yeah, we will basically crop it in. How yeah. how would you sharpen your image? Is it in so the... yeah? So it's it's again it's the color tab. So yeah. it's oh, I always use the adjustment yeah. clip so because adjustment. you can then get rid of it. Yeah. And then you go in there. Okay. And you've got various things. So yeah. this is this is the sharpness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. That's yeah. good. We need this for the night footage, Dicky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is your contrast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. And the the good thing about it is just remember so this. So what, what this have we got in there? Just the color. Thing. Yeah, you can increase saturation. Mm -hmm. no, you we, know, we need to do that. You can you can work on your highlights and shadows. So yeah. you know you can bring your I'm, shadows. I'm you can with that from the photo editing. Yeah. So that's yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. You can do it. And how did you go in that? You just because we just need to another, learn about it's just another tab. It's called the color tab. Yeah. And then the good thing about it, you can just press in this, you compare, this is original, yeah, yeah. this is after the change. Oh, yeah. Obviously you're aiming for, you know, uh, mm -hmm. a little bit of a and how, change. how have you done that uh, extra layer? Where did you go in to create the layer? So this is still that adjustment. Yeah, how did so we go in effects, there? Effects, effects, the first and one adjustment one? clip. So you, adjustment clip. We need that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think everything else from this tab you can ignore for yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, video transitions maybe yeah. uh, titles is you're going to use yeah again you can you can favorite them so so, so we favorites. need to use effects basically mm -hmm. yeah. 
So you can add this so to effects. It. Effects is to do your sharpening, your mm -hmm. color adjustment, and you can zoom in there as well. Yeah, in the adjustment clip, or is that? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. can do a zoom in adjustment clip as well. Yeah. You. you or or you go into inspector. Well, it's it's still inspector, but it yeah. depends on which clip you're yeah. on. Yeah. So if you're on adjustment clip, yeah. you know you can see it's changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know if you apply it in here. Yeah. So then always you, do it on the adjustment. Then clip. you have double zoom. Yeah. So okay. I have a zoom from here and yeah. so. I remember it works top down, down. so yeah. mm -hmm. so this zoom is 1.28 yeah. and this is 1.4 so it will multiply it ah, mm -hmm. okay. yeah how would that show if you if you do that so you can always use this for yeah and ah. then there's also another key yeah. which is I think standard D so D disables yeah. that clip yeah. so that's that's that you can wow. see the zoom applied and the color grading applied <coughs> look like two different people there. <laughs> Obviously, I've overdone it, right? Yeah. Because it's, it's way too too much of everything. And have you got set presets that you? Like yeah. So, so so like I said, so this color adjustment yeah. is the easiest way to do it is yeah. to use that power bins. Yeah. In media pool. So in standard. I've been writing this down, man. <laughs> no, you 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 will find. Well, you're gonna have to watch. The, yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a long video. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so I have it in here. So, I have, so this is so basically and, it's media pool and effects that we need to use yeah. basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then once you've once you've because for example for iPhone, I I tend to use uh, you know I've I've set it up. Yeah. And it's pretty good out of the box. I just do minor adjustments because yeah. you, you see this is this is the original. Yeah. It's a bit um, too cold. It's, it's, it's so just add some add some yeah. color and mm -hmm. that's it. Very good. It's, it's, it makes my head clear about that. Yeah. Already. And again, and yeah. if you want to add something yeah. to your uh, shortcuts, this power bins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you when you have a timeline, you can just go and just put it in here. Yeah. And it will be here now, right? And then you can reuse it. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. So I'm just thinking, like when we have like a set intro where you've got your logo coming in or your text or whatever, you can just have the standard. You can save that in your master bin, yeah. So yeah. If you need the intro, just click intro. And we'll yeah. In. There's another thing which, you know, sometimes you will reuse a lot of this stuff. Yeah. So you can, you know, you can go, you can copy between videos. So you can start yeah. a new. This yeah. is a new video, and I've got another one open. And you've just text copied your. So effects. I can, I can, you know, if I wanted to use these icons here. Yeah. I can just copy mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Control C. Yeah. Go to my test video. Yeah. Paste it in here. Wow. You know, I have everything here. That's yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Did maybe this is not a good example. Let's yeah. not copy this because maybe the fusion applies to just this. Yeah, this is actually the first time I've fusion, but let's go and copy something from timeline one. Yeah, so let's say I want to copy all of that into the other video. Yeah, so yeah, it's all in here now. Wow. So yeah. It's just, we just need to play with it basically. Mm -hmm. You just fearing the main, you. the main <laughs> thing, the main thing is that mm -hmm. W button and the Q button to. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, how? Where are those? Uh, key cost, keyboard customization. Yeah, yeah. So I've got it here. That's what we need export. To Just customize this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a text file. Yeah. Right. So I can send you that. Yeah. Uh, you can actually copy and paste it. Mm. Yeah, you can just import it. So you will go in here uh, and then you will do import. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, man. This is the puppet gear. I know, I know. I'm just thinking, you know, Perfect. big, big screen, easier to work with, you know, uh, it's proper. My screen's well, well, half got, the size of this one. I've got 27 inch. Yeah. Yours is well. It's I think it's 32. 32. It's halfway between this one and that mm -hmm. one. It's still big enough. Mm -hmm. It's handy to have two screens. Yeah, it, yeah for, for this, it, it's if you if you edit in. 
At least you've got stereo. Because you've got the full yeah. screen <laughs> on on here. So this, I don't think this That's is better. this is the, yeah. uh, where do you control that? Yeah, I think it's some. You have to. You're gonna have to play with this workspace. Mm -hmm. So in order to achieve this, if you have two screens, it's Are you using HDMI to. Yeah, just, one is DisplayPort, one yeah, is yeah, HDMI. Yeah, so it's yeah. this mm -hmm. uh, single viewer mode, I yeah. think. Dual screen. Oh, dual dual screen, screen no, small, because yeah. this is. Uh, this That's is where you got one big screen across two. And then you, yeah, you you select which is primary, and I think this is the viewer. Yeah. So this is the single viewer yeah, mode. Yeah, so yeah. you've got on one screen, you just got the output. But you can yeah. have the two screens there as well, yeah. In one screen. Yes. Yeah, yeah you can. Well, you can. So I think it's. Mm, it, uh, but it's it's you need yeah? yeah you need a lot of room for for all of for this. All of this. Yeah. So yeah, you need to script. But you you can work like this you yeah. know, initially. You, yeah. you 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 see it in here. But it's sometimes good to have it on the you know we, on the full screen. We've got screen at home. Yeah. We've got twenty seven inch what we just bought, and yeah. at least you've got another two upstairs. Yeah. Because you work with two like you do. Okay. There is so there is a sound library here, yeah. but I found this the, there's not much in here. There is a. If you search for the sound library download, you can download it, but there is not much in here. I tried to do this and I couldn't download nothing. Yeah, I, I, I think I've removed it in the end because what yeah, it has, annoying. it's yeah. not something I've used at all. Nothing so, there. So, yeah, you, you need, you need yeah. specifics, so if you, you know, mm -hmm. it depends what you, you're what you going for. Yeah. But this link, what you sent me, this is very... But the, the easiest way to do it is just download it on YouTube because you will, yeah. whatever you, you I don't know. Uh, is it like a YouTube sound converter and then you just... It's the same, it's the same, it's the, it's the downloader. Yeah. So it's the same, yeah, mm -hmm. it downloads video and audio. Okay. So, I don't know, fart sound. It's going to be here, right? Wow. Yeah. So, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then all you do is copy link. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go to here. And then click on audio, uh, and then just convert, and then download it, and then you've got the fart sound, right? That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Simple. Wow. Mm -hmm. Save your time. I think. So we need to download this YouTube yes. thing then. Yes. We will do everything. I've yeah. All of this. I think I've sent you that, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. Wonderful. I think we've got enough there. I, I think so. Yeah. 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 Let's just pause this. See how long it's it's safe. A month already here. Yeah. <laughs> Try to look. Yeah.